Francisco, the city by the bay, where sports tradition is focused in Candlestick Park and where natural grass surfaces for baseball and football have given way to a little chunk of Baja. This is stadium racing. It's the main event here at Candlestick Park. The Grand National Sport Trucks for the main event for the Grand National Sport Trucks, but he wasn't able to make it. He didn't make the call, neither did Brian Stewart. We don't know the exact reason why. I'm sure uh, Mike Galloway is working on that down in the pits, but uh, right now it's the two Toyotas and the Chevy, and we'll see if it's the Rod and Ricky show. They're pumping and banging already up on a couple of wheels there early on, jamming Jimmy Nichols, and he got jammed up pretty tight, as several trucks did, through those back-to-back -back 180s. That's been a, a tough turn for these trucks all night long. Well, it's Ivan Stewart, Rod Millen, Ricky Johnson, and Rob McCachran running one through four. Now, McCachran, with Roger Beers not making it to the main event, McCachran has a chance to finish third in the points. He makes Stewart and Millen up front. Again, the trucks jam up. Boy, kind of got pushed through there. Rod Millen did in second place. Let's see if they go through turn number four. Nobody banging up, but back behind the pack. We had several trucks run into a hydro barrier. They all backed off and back into racing action. Ivan Stewart in first place. Rod Millen is second. Rick Johnson, third place. And Rob McCachran is in fourth. Those are the four. Walker Evans is a very distant fifth. Is it a bit ironic that every main event winner this season is in among the first three? Ivan Stewart, a main event winner once. Rod Millen, a four-time main event winner. A two-time main event winner for Ricky Johnson. Ivan Stewart trying to fight off his teammate. Rod Millen had gotten almost neck and neck with him. You see him come over the jumps. Millen in second place, it's still Rick Johnson third, and McCaffrey fourth. Millen, one and two. You know, the track conditions have changed so much. Watch the way the Toyotas are coming through these corners. See how much side action uh, the tail is really getting happy on Ivan and Rob's truck. And when you go back, in fact, Ricky Johnson just lost third place. I was going to say, it looks like they picked the wrong tire for, because that's the first time I've seen Ricky be that tail happy all night long. And McCachran's around him, so the Ford leads the Chevy in the battle for third. Brad McCachran took advantage of that and has moved out in front. Full course yellow. Full course yellow. And that is the reason why Roger Mears Jr. has ended up on his side. Ivan Stewart and Rod Millen, one and two. Tightening it up behind him, Rick Johnson. And Rob McCachran has a chance to try and blow around him. They are really in tight as they go through turn three and head into turn four. It is really boxed in there. Well, Rick Johnson took third place back. He has a chance at Rod Millen for second. Johnson will really put the pedal to it, but can't do anything to catch Millen. Millen holding him off nicely. Well, you're right, Rick Johnson was going sideways all through turn seven. Yeah, it, the, the track has really dried out here. In fact, in some places you can see it's got an actual asphalt laid down on it. It's gotten that hard, that slippery, that shiny. And some of these guys just don't have the right tire set up for it. Ivan Stewart is doing the best with what he has, however. He's beginning to stretch out his lead, even starting to leave his teammate, Rod Millen. Rick Johnson made a run, as we told you, at Millen, but he's fallen back a little bit. And Rob McCachran is right behind him, and McCachran would like another shot at third place. Stewart right there. Millen, second place. There's the Iron Man. Now, notice Ivan, has, he's, he's got a lot of, of uh, lack of, of side grip in there. I mean, they're just not getting the side bite, but Ivan seems to be doing the best job of being able to dirt track it on through. Yeah, he's really extended his lead in the Iron Man's experience showing through in this Grand National Sport Truck main event. Remember that Ivan won here at uh, San Francisco two years ago, and of course last year we raced over at the Oakland Coliseum, and Walker Evans won that race back then. Of course, Walker's not had any kind of good fortune tonight. Rob McCachran back in fourth place. Can't seem to catch Johnson in the top four trucks. 
pretty much spaced out evenly here. Stewart, Millen, Johnson, McCaffrey. One, two, three, and four. Walker Evans, we mentioned a moment ago, is a distant fifth place. Well, remember, Ivan's one main event victory this year came back at uh, San Diego at Jack Murphy Stadium, which was all the way back in uh, February. That's a long time for him. White flag is out. One more for Ivan to end the 92 season on a very, very up note. Stuart Millen, Johnson, and McCaffrey. One, two, three, and four. Another stalled vehicle. One more sweeping corner. Ivan Stewart. He's going to do it. Here comes Ivan Stewart, the Iron Man, the checkered flag for the final main event win of 92. Uh, Millen finishes second. Rick Johnson third. Ivan, you said after heat race number one, you really like this place. It's obvious. Well, I tell you, this track just tends to my driving style, I think, uh, Marty. It feels awful good. The truck felt good. The Oklahoma tire is fantastic again. Just, uh, I just seem like I can't do anything wrong here in San Francisco. Well, you know, we were watching the main event, and everybody was didn't have enough side bite. Uh, it looked like everybody was having a tough time because it had dried out and really gotten slick. It uh, it was not only side bite but forward bite, Marty. It was a matter of getting coming out of the corners, but if you got on the throttle too much, you just lift the tires up, and it really cost you a lot of time. Well, here you are. This is a great way to end the season uh, and uh, gives you plenty to plan and build for for 1993. Absolutely. We're going right to the test track. We know we're going down to do the 1,000 and then uh, and then back to, uh, to testing, Marty. Congratulations. We'll see you in 1993. Thank you very much. Well, let's take a look at our 92 points champions and honor the winners. In-car cameras provided by Nature's Recipe, the pet food professionals. The Mickey Thompson Off-Road Championship Grand Prix is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers. With that clean, crisp, cold taste, nothing beats a bud. And by Toyota Motorsports, where technology on a fast track is built into every Toyota. Yeah.